Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Well, it's all been about the Thargoids the past couple of weeks, and everyone does focus on the large Interceptor, Hydra, Basilisk, Cyclops class. But what about their smaller cousins? The poor cousins. The Scout. Lots of fun can be had destroying those. <laughs> And everyone starts to fixate, right, on the larger Thargoid ships. But what typically causes you a hell of a lot of damage, if you don't pay them a lot of attention, is the Thargoid Scout. They're going to be firing off their caustic missiles. They're going to be making a right nuisance of themselves and could typically do an awful lot of damage to your ship's hull. This ship in particular is my AX Scout Swatting Challenger. I love it. I think it's great. It's all tricked out with all the relevant weapons and we'll go through the build in a moment but I do find it perfect for going in there with your crew some of your team will go and uh, attack the interceptors you still got to try and keep those Thargoid scouts off their back right try and take a little bit of damage for them tank it up get rid of the shields lots of hell reinforcements it really is good fun and you do get that good dog fighting ability so here it is my challenger lovely yellow paint job and you can see great big honking ax multi-cannon turrets on them in the three i got a massive class three multi-cannon turret ax multi-cannon turret and in the class two slots in the class one i've got a small one here with incendiary rounds short range blaster so a bit of engineering's gone on here and there we've got beam lasers overcharged weapon and thermal vent no dramas there, quite a standard build, especially when you want to go out swatting bugs, especially those scout Thargoid bugs. On the utility mounts, I've got a heat sink launcher, I've got a Xeno scanner, another heat sink launcher, which I've been engineering, or attempting to engineer, and also I've got a frame wake, frame wake scanner, even. Now, why have I got one of these? Well, my carrier's not parked in the same system, so I'll traverse from my carrier upon occasion back into the system of choice where all the Thargoid shenanigans are happening. All that malarkey. You're going to get interdicted. When you get interdicted, it's a good opportunity to get that frame wake scanner out and scan some Thargoid wakes. Because once they leave you and get out of the way, you might as well, right? Might as well capitalize on all this Thargoid activity that's going on and claim some data. Core internal, military grade composites, power plant, nicely engineered up. You know, overcharge power plant. Haven't done any additional engineering on that yet, like monster. I don't really need it. 6A thrusters, drag drives. And then, you know, the frameshift drive is all tricked up. 5C life support. That gives me 10 minutes. I could do better, and I probably will. 6A power distributor, and, you know, we've got sensors as well. Now, on optional internals, this is where it starts to get, I, I would say, interesting, but let's face it, it, it is what it is. Hell reinforcement packages here, bit of engineering's gone on, there has been better um, hell reinforcement that I've got, but I've got it on some of my other ships, my, my Thargoid killing crates. Hell reinforcement, but when it comes down to the military slots that you get with this particular ship, I was reliably informed not to put module reinforcement in the military slots. This is because, and I'm, I just, I've got to make sure I get this right, that in the military sl slots, they deplete first, and then everything else depletes. So as I mentioned, if you're playing in a team, it's typically good to divide and conquer of where you're going to be doing with the roles within the combat zone. Have at least one person taking care of the scouts, and then have your other buddies taking care of the interceptors. Yes, it's a lot of fun, and as long as you got over there and apply yourself a little bit of damage to that interceptor before it goes, and you're in a team, you're going to get that bounty and reward as well. And those salvation cannons could well be yours as part of the recent community goal. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I've been Ricardo. This has been a little bit of AX combat with AX turrets, swatting those Thargoid scouts. It's really good fun and really dogfighty.
like and subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you soon.